we are at the 2013 PGA show with a familiar face in Corey. We're high above the Bridgestone booth and really the rest of the show floor. And I've talked to you in the past about the history of Bridgestone, and I think people kind of don't realize that they remember Bridgestone coming in to the game a decade or so ago or a couple decades ago, but don't realize that there's a lot of history behind it. There is. Bridgestone actually was founded in 1931. Many, many years ago, we are a, the number one rubber manufacturer in the world. But Bridgestone Golf is relatively new to this industry. We're new to this show floor. Just in 2005, we launched this brand. You may have been more familiar with us under the preset brand name. Bridgestone Golf has become the more premium lineup designed to fit tour, tour players. You know, the better playing consumers, even even the golfers that are looking to simply improve their game, that's the Bridgestone Golf brand, and, and we're happy to be on this floor. I remember the Precept brand because it was winning tournaments. What was the thought process in sh moving away from that into Bridgestone Golf? Well, well, Precept was fantastic for us. Precept also was part of the revolution of the uh, solid core technology, which was big for us. But Bridgestone Golf in 2005 took Precept, which was at the time more of a discount oriented, to the premium side of the business with our Tour B330 and B330S right out of the gates, even bringing forging equipment right into the Bridgestone Golf lineup. Now, the equipment is a full line equipment company now and growing by leaps and, leaps and bounds basically every single year. We are. We, we've had incredible growth. And at in 2005, when we joined this industry under Bridgestone Golf, we were the number five, maybe even number six player from a golf ball standpoint. Now we sit in the number two position on and off course, according to Data Tech. And we're really confident in our position, but we know that we really want to continue to improve and we've got a long ways to go. Well, while few companies have really grown in the golf ball world, you guys have grown and grown quickly. And that's really a testament to your belief of, let, we're not going to tell you what to play, you're going to tell us what you want to play. We, we really owe our growth to the consumer base who's believed in the ball fitting message and that playing a golf ball that's right for your game is really the only way. We spend hundreds of dollars in club fitting day in and day out, but when it comes down to it, you impact the golf ball in every shot, and there's an opportunity to play the game better with a simple white, round, dimpled golf ball that sits in front of you every day. Well, I appreciate you educating all our readers and listeners about the brand, and I think they're, they'll find that interesting as well. So if you get a chance, do some research. Look up this and, and see the growth they've come because it's been pretty staggering. For THP TV, I'm Josh Babbitt.